hey, bro, this Diddy just keep getting wider and wider, ain't it? <laughs> and it ain't gonna stop, bro. Hey, cuz, reputation is gone. It's kaput. It, it's, it's evaporated, dog. <laughs> Ceased to exist. <laughs> bro, so much work this fool put in, dog. You can't put, you can't put no more shit out. You know what I mean? I would like to see him try to push it out and see the response to it, bro, because it's crazy as hell. And I don't give a damn if this these are false allegations, though. At this point, I don't give a damn what anybody say, bro. Diddy did that shit, bro. He may have he may not have done all this shit, but he did a lot of this shit, and a, and, and a lot of this shit he did is no, nah, bro. We we not we not doing that, dog. <laughs> we not doing that, bro, because <laughs> he has been associated, tied to, implicated in all this evil sadistic nasty sh for far too long bro i'm talking about it's been years people been saying diddy diddy gay diddy be doing the weirdest diddy's a damn demon <laughs> you know what i'm saying that has been the topic of conversation for a long time bro it's just crazy that it take this nah, it's not crazy it's the whole r kelly uh aspect too bro he, he put too much money in people's pockets for people to out him because if you put if you send this motherfucker away, a lot of fools gonna go broke. Right? I so I realize that. But sheesh. But sheesh. This is how monsters are created, dog. But they untouchable. Got too much money, got too much control, got too much clout. So they can go in here and just be playing with dudes, booty holes and balls and thinking ain't nothing gonna happen to them. And that is exactly what this male is uh suing Diddy for this time, bro. It's a 30 minute lawsuit. I try to find a court case, man, but I can't find it, bro. So I'm up on TMZ, man. But you can literally find the headlines to this everywhere. Uh, but yeah, Diddy is sued for sexual assault by a former male employee. This came out today, hot off the press. Um, Diddy has just been sued by a man claiming the mogul assaulted him. Uh, obtained by TMZ, Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for the mogul claims he was repeatedly sexually assaulted by Diddy and subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction. They got Stevie J in this month. Yeah, he, he's implicated other celebrities in this month too, bro. <laughs> it's like, cuz get messy with this one, dog. Uh, Y'all know who Stevie J is, right? You know, he go way back, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think he got Grammys and shit, bro. Cuz can write, you know, monster producer. A lot of y'all probably know him uh, from Stevie, Stevie J. <laughs> well, uh, Jocelyn Hernandez and shit from that, uh, what is it, real love of hip hop? But no, because Cuz is uh, definitely uh, an icon in the, in the music industry, bro. Um, Jones claims Diddy, among other things, would grope his genitals and touch his anus. Jones go on to allege Diddy would parade around naked in front of him. Jones believed Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex. I mean, how old are you, though, bro? How old is... uh? I didn't see how old you was, bro. If you're a grown ass man talking about some some other man gonna groom you to be gay, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a reach. But um, like, is groom the right word, or is it more like, you know, uh, be a predator, like take it, taking advantage of your status, your position. You know what I'm saying? Like limiting opportunities for those and or taking away opportunities from those, which will, I ain't gonna say force them, but a lot of these you know, spineless people that find themselves in this position will get played into doing something. Like you gotta you gotta suck me off in order for you to get this script, right? Male or female, bro. And you know, a lot of these a lot of these fools go with it, bro. Especially like a lot of these women. Shit, men too. A lot of these fools gotta suck a little suck suck a little or, you know, do some do something strange for a little piece of change, literally, to get on. So grooming, I wouldn't call it grooming. But no, maybe he was a little soft ass little soy boy. You got groomed by Diddy. Jones believes Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex. He says Diddy would downplay the alleged assaults as horseplay. <laughs> Where they do that at, bro? <laughs> Where they do that at, dog? I gotta see who Cuz is, bro. I need to see how old you is, dog. Even though I believe, you know, Diddy is a damn, you know, a gay demon, but um, I need to know what you look like. Is this you? Baller alert. This is him. Sean Diddy Combs faces $30 million lawsuit, producer alleges harassment, drugging, and threats in shocking legal battle. So is this him? Let me see if I go, if I put a little rod. Is this, is this a little rod? I'm trying to see if uh, he was a little zesty in the first place. What does it say? Little Rod made it critically acclaimed producer, a generation defining musician, award winning songwriter. Um, 
Come on, I'm gonna already assume that he already had a little sweetness to him, a little sugar in his tank. Any guy, I mean, he looked kind of sweet right here, bro. I mean, uh, no disrespect. I'm just saying he looked sweet already. And then I, I would just assume the majority of men in the entertainment industry, period, uh, they they dibble and dabble in homosexual activities any fucking way. But um, I'm trying to see. you got a song though. Hold on. Never got a question the loyalty when they go down we early. I'm yeah, he's sweet. He's sweet. Um, so then uh, it's like he said he trying to get he said did he trying to groom him to be gay, but you was already gay in the first place, dog. You know, I'm I'm assuming. Uh that don't you know, that don't take away the fact that Diddy out here on some bullshit, probably doing some shit that you don't want him to do. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't hey, hey, there's there's not a straight up out here that'll ever find himself in this type of situation, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Like, following your balls, playing with your booty hole, and and, gra and running around you naked, talking about horseplay, bro. Like, he not he not gonna try straight up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be, you got to be already. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, yeah. Jones claims Diddy, among other things, will grope Jones genitals and touch him in his anus. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, I don't give a damn but who you are. What you got, what you undid, what you can do, what opportunities you can take away from me, bro. No, no, no. What, 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 man? <laughs> what? But, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really gonna try this shit around somebody that, you know, comes across that way, bro. I, I, I would have, I'd imagine. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Jones goes on to allege Diddy would parade around naked in front of him. Jones believed Diddy was trying to groom him into having sex he says diddy would downplay the alleged assaults as horseplay he goes on to allege diddy forced him to watch a video involving stevie j having sex with another man jones included a screenshot of the video bro like whew, exposing everybody dog <laughs> i low-key feel type of way having the same name as his cuz bro especially if he got screenshots dog you know what i'm saying that ain't just you know he say she say bro he got a screenshot of the video why wouldn't you just get him the video though bro you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I don't know where we got that video from, dog. But it don't surprise me, bro. Like, yeah, it don't surprise me, dog. All these fools getting bent over, sucking tip some type of way. Um, there are more allegations. He says a female cousin that did his girlfriend, Young Miami, that's uh, City Girls, right? Also sexually assaulted him, allegedly attempted to have sex with him in front of Diddy and his mem and his staff. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> like, who just go try you? <laughs> oh. It's a cold world, bro. It's a cold world, dog. It, it, it remind me of like you know somebody sweet being in prison, and then you know they just be taking that butt. <laughs> anyway, uh, and there's more. Jones says Diddy brought prostitutes to his house in Miami, and on one occasion, Jones says he was present at the house and was drugged and possibly raped. <laughs> he hired them, them, them BBC escorts, dog. You know, from the Cassie shit, dog. Diddy would be hiring BBCs to stroke his girl while he stroke his. Now he hiring BBCs to 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 stroke Buddy. God damn, bro! It's like Kelly or Kelly or Diddy. It's like a toss up. You know what I mean? It's like R. Kelly was just doing shit with the little. I, can, I mean, me saying just doing shit with little girls. That, that don't even go together. Like, you, you just don't, you can't just do sh with little girls. But Diddy is on, on a, was he, was he, yeah, because he was with little girls too. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch more Cassies outside of what was already came out in court. It's a bunch of them. Like, Diddy was doing the fucking little girl shit too, but now he, he gay. He, he uh, a sadist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He a, 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 a masochist, bro. Like, cuz is crazy. He also alleges at several parties, Diddy intentionally served women bottles of his tequila and vodka brands laced with drugs. There are more tawdry allegations, including bringing underage girls, boom, to Diddy's home and providing them with alcohol. Got Cuba Gooden Jr. in this thing too, bro. God, damn, got to be more careful. Jones claims Diddy directed Stevie J and his son, Justin Combs, to recruit some hoes. Yeesh. And in Justin's case, he was instructed to find underage girls to attend the parties, dog. 
Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooden Jr. on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly was on some gay shit too. God <laughs> damn, bro. Did he just say he had Cuba out here recruiting the... No, 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 no. That was that was Stevie J. Okay. All right. All right. Damn. But I heard Cuba was gay too, though, bro. Damn. Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooden Jr. on the yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones' legs, his upper inner thighs, near his groin, the smaller his back, near his buttock, and his shoulders. Is that is that them? Oh shit! Damn, that's 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 them. Damn, that's them. Yeah, he is kind of close, bro. For meeting somebody you just met for seeing somebody you just met for the first time, bro. That 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 look. His hand real. Oh. Yeah, bro got receipts. Bro got receipts. Damn. Why I gotta be so gay though, bro, man? There are also allegations of a shooting where Jones says Diddy and his son Justin got into a heated argument at an LA recording studio. Jones says gunfire erupted and a man named G was hitting, was bleeding profusely from his stomach. Damn, bro. He just letting. So. So he got his son doing the dirty work. Diddy got his son doing the dirty work. I hope, I hope J Diddy ain't got Justin on some gay shit too, bro. But you know, probably. Cuba is in this bitch being a rapist. Stevie J out here getting getting fucked up fucking men. Bro, there's a lot going on in this motherfucker, dog. And then um, I seen it at the top. They, they updated it. It says uh, Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to, attempt to garner headlines. bro. What about that photo though, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh, cool. But it, like, anyway, she continues. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones' attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored, and Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take an all appropriate action against those who make them. Blah 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 fucking blah. Like, even if because it's lying, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, Diddy's reputation is gone. It's done so. It's donezo, bro. Lost all types of brand deals and, bro, it's a wrap. If I myself was going to bet on who's telling the truth and who is capping, I'm going to assume that Lil Rod telling the truth, right? You know, he made it. He may have embellished a little bit here and there. You know what I'm saying? But it it, it ain't it ain't far from something Diddy would be involved in anyway because his reputation has already been that fucked. You know what I'm saying? That's how Diddy get down, bro. It's just, right, that's crazy that people are allowed to, it just goes to show, bro, money, power, uh, but yeah, fuck is wrong with Diddy, bro.